we've got a lot of bones over here and we got a lot of questions on them as well from uh, in through the email and on social media um, but basically first of all what what makes this discovery so 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 special well there's a couple things about it uh, one is it's one of the very few sites where there's more than one triceratops that's been discovered um, triceratops that tells us that triceratops was probably not a herding animal like some of its relatives, but probably was more often solitary. Here we have what we thought were three individuals, which might not be four individuals. So this is this is pretty exciting. It tells us something about behavior and uh, just all kinds of potential uh, information we can gain, gain from it. All right. Well, we've been uh, we've been digging uh, for, for quite a bit today, and we have the tiny tooth of the very small one. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do we actually know about very small triceratopses and, and how much do we have here already? Small triceratops are very rare. Um, there's one fairly decent, maybe 50% of a, a skull that uh, is at the Museum of the Rockies. And there's another specimen that was collected in, uh, in South Dakota uh, that is just like two or three bones from the skull and then some of the skeleton, uh, part of the pelvis and things. But they're I think we're going to learn a lot about the ontogeny, how these animals grow. We know that these individuals were more than likely the same species. In fact, even maybe even a family group. So, given the sediments we've got here, do you have any idea, and comparing with sites elsewhere, any idea on how and why all these triceratopses died here? Well, speculating upon that, these animals, since they're buried here, Together, we can assume that they lived together and died together here as well, um, uh, which also gives us the idea that perhaps it's 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 a family. How many uh, how many skulls do we know uh, of Triceratops so far, and and how many how does that relate to how many complete skeletons we have? So we now have uh, over the years there have been probably something close to a hundred skulls for Triceratops collected, and it's one of the best known, publicly known animals, uh, dinosaurs. But we know, we, we, up until just a few years ago, we knew actually very little about the skeletons. There were no complete skeletons. In fact, all the ones you see mounted in museums are composites of three or four or more individuals. In fact, sometimes they would stick on parts of duckbill dinosaurs, duckbill rib cages and, and duckbill feet, because those are parts that uh, were either never collected or, or just plain weren't found. Um, we now have uh, two pretty good skeletons that have been collected over the past uh, past few years, and uh, uh, all the other specimens you see are composites or casts. So even though everybody thinks of Triceratops as being one of the best known dinosaurs, having a skeleton is something very precious, very rare, and is going to teach us a whole lot more about how these animals grow. Having you know not not only an adult or maybe two adults here, we've got two youngsters of varying ages. Uh, this is going to teach us, or has the potential to teach us a whole lot about how the parts of their skeleton grew and perhaps grew at different rates than other parts of the skeleton. So the, the, the chances for really learning more about this animal here at this site are, are tremendous. There's, we're going to learn a lot about Triceratops just from these bones at this site.